you know, I like to think I'm pretty fair with giving feedback to Bungie about things in D2, whether they watch my videos or not. And I don't beat around the bush. I think if they've done something worthy of praise, I will give praise. And if they've done something worthy of critique, I will give critique. And if I think they've done something silly as f then I might as well just come out and say that too. Today we're going to talk about the requirements of the Scallywag Triumph Seal, specifically the Robber Baron requirement. If you're a new D2 player, titles are a type of visual flair you can put on your Guardian. Completing everything under the Scallywag Triumph Seal will allow you to unlock and equip the Scallywag title in-game. I'ma be real, I don't usually care a ton about seals and titles in D2 outside of a select few, usually the ones tied to PvP. A lot of other people do though, and I've decided I want to go for Scallywag this season, just because I dig the pirate theme and the title sounds cool. One of the requirements of the Scallywag title is called Robber Baron, in which you have to kill a grand total of over 50 ruffians. Ruffians appear in the expedition activity, so you might think, oh, easy enough, I'll just play a lot of expedition. But it's way, way more annoying than that. See, ruffians only appear in expedition under certain criteria, if you didn't know. Each time you run an expedition, you can potentially encounter up to four ruffians. Sounds straightforward, right? Well, not really. And if you're a solo player, this can be a borderline nightmare. According to Reddit user Nafets Nafets, a name I'm sure I'm not butchering at all, ruffians spawn in on a very strict in-game timer. I've been fiddling in Expedition a fair amount, and it all seems pretty accurate. If you don't already know, here's how it works. Two of the ruffians are <clears throat> guaranteed, and two of them are purely RNG. I'm putting guaranteed in air quotes because they are guaranteed to show up, but only if you can manage to run out the clock in Expedition long enough. You see, the guaranteed ruffians are on a set timer. Once you've activated the drill, the clock starts ticking. If the first drill activity hasn't finished after three minutes of in-game time, then the first guaranteed ruffian will spawn in. After the guaranteed one is dead, you can then wait a few more seconds to see if the first RNG ruffian will follow soon after. The problem is that three minutes is way, way longer than any team of even the most farm-fresh blueberries needs to complete one wave of expedition. Do you see the problem? Let me put it this way. If you're with a group of friends in a fire team and you're all doing expedition together with the goal of let's farm ruffians, then there's no problem in terms of getting the ruffians to appear. Anyway, you go to the drill site, you activate, then all of you sit around farming trash, deliberately not throwing loot engrams and intentionally not progressing the encounter, which not a fun method of completing a triumph, by the way, until the guaranteed ruffian shows up. But if you're a solo player, sort of you almost because I can almost guarantee you that way before the three minute timer is up, your teammates will throw enough engrams at the loot truck to progress the encounter, thus ensuring that the guaranteed ruffian will not appear. And it's not like you can even be mad at your teammates because they're only doing what they're supposed to be doing to progress the encounter. In fact, the only way to really ensure that you'll be able to hit the three minute threshold if you're a solo player is literally if you beat your blueberry teammates to the loot engrams and then rather than throw them at the truck like you should be doing, yeeting them off over the horizon, buying you the time that you need to make sure that you hit the three minute threshold for the guaranteed ruffian. It is a very safe bet that if you don't intentionally slow the progress of your team, they will complete the encounter before the ruffian appears, and despawn the ruffian. If you think that's all really dumb, good, we're on the same page. And I'm definitely not encouraging anyone to do this, but if you're a solo player trying to unlock the Scallywag title, the most efficient strategy on paper, if your team is moving too quickly, is to borderline grief your own fire team to ensure they don't accidentally despawn what you literally need in order to get your title. And if you're thinking, well, hey, you said two of the ruffians are guaranteed and two are RNG, right? Couldn't solo players just cross their fingers and pray that the RNG ruffians show up? They could, but the RNG ruffians apparently show up after the guaranteed ruffians, meaning that no matter how you slice it, the only way to get it done is to wait for the three minute timer, which again, you're only really going to accomplish if you're either A, in a fire team with friends and you all mutually agree to sit around not throwing engrams until three minutes is up, B, you're a solo player and you get lucky with teammates who are so unbelievably slow that they don't really pay attention to the loot engram mechanics, or C, you're a solo player and you have to intentionally disrupt the progress of your own team until you can hit the three minute window. So my question is, what the f***? Let's pretend for a minute that every D2 player in the world knew about the three minute ruffian timer and every D2 player was very polite. Everyone coming together and agreeing to intentionally ignore the objective 
and not throw engrams at the loot truck for three whole minutes. Is that fun? Sitting around and ignoring the only objective that we have and just repeatedly shooting trash enemies while waiting for an in-game timer? Why is that the way that it is? I just can't wrap my head around why it was made that way. And if you want to add some weird fuel to the already frustrating fire, apparently at some point after the Reddit post containing info on the ruffian timers went up, Bungie updated D2 and changed Expedition to remove the in-game timer. Yes, there used to be an in-game timer on Expedition like the one we have in the catch crash activity. But after the internal ruffian timer was discovered and players were recommending that you keep an eye on the in-game timer to keep better track of when the ruffians will show up, Bungie took the in-game timer away. This was documented by another YouTuber you should check out, Scaro. I will link his channel down in the video description. But just Bungie, why? Why intentionally put up more roadblocks to an already weird and frustrating mechanic that we need for a seasonal title? And I mean, at the end of the day, it's not a big deal. I can just open a stopwatch in a new tab in Google or some shit. But at that point, why even bother taking the timer away? And it's not like I'm all boo-hoo, I don't want to grind. I'm fine with grinding. Hell, I'll kill 75 ruffians, but why not tie them to the loot progression of the truck? Why not make it work literally any other way than this? Look, again, it's just a title which really has zero impact on the game itself. It's not like there's some kind of pay-to-win fiasco going on or anything game-breaking like that. I just really don't like that if you're trying to get the scallywag title and you happen to be a solo player, which many D2 players out there are, your two options are, one, put your faith in RNG and hope your teammates don't pay attention to or are very slow to engage with the objective, or two, literally delay your own team's progress so you can barely squeak out that three minute timer for the guaranteed ruffian to appear. For the record, I just want to say I continue to love D2 and I always like to give Bungie the benefit of the doubt, but some wires definitely got crossed somewhere with the ruffian mechanics and how they tie together into the scallywag title. It's it's just not good. It's not good and I don't like it. Just thrown in my two cents. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on stream.